Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. How to connect a new router to an existing network. Imagine you're expanding your home network and you need to add a new router to ensure everyone stays connected. Here's how you can do it seamlessly. First, you need to decide where to place your new router. Ideally, it should be in a central location to ensure the best wireless coverage. Now let's talk about the setup. If you have a modem from your internet service provider, ISP, you'll need to connect your new router to it. Use an ethernet cable and plug it into the WAN, wide area network, or internet port on your new router. This port is usually colored differently from the other ports, three. Next, power on your new router and let it boot up. You'll need to configure it using either a mobile app provided by the router manufacturer or the router's web-based dashboard. To access the dashboard, connect your computer to the router using an ethernet cable and type the router's IP address into your browser. A common IP address is 192.168.1.13. Once you're logged in, change the default admin username and password to something secure. Then, configure your wireless settings, including the SSID, the name of your network, and the password. If you're replacing an old router, it's a good idea to use the same SSID and password to avoid re-authenticating all your devices. If you want to use the new router in addition to your existing one, you have two main options. You can connect the new router to the existing one using an Ethernet cable from the LAN port of the old router to the LAN port of the new router. This setup extends your network, giving you more Ethernet ports and better wireless coverage. Alternatively, you can connect the new router using the WAN port, which creates a new network within your existing network. This is useful if you want to isolate certain devices or create specific rules for them. Five. In some cases, if you have a gateway with an integrated router from your ISP, you'll need to disable the router function on the gateway and pass the WAN IP address to your new router. This step ensures there are no conflicts between the two routers. Finally, test your connection by connecting a laptop to the new router and ensuring you have internet access. If everything is set up correctly, your devices should connect smoothly to the new network. By following these steps, you can easily integrate a new router into your existing network and enjoy better coverage and connectivity.